Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome to a new series called C++ Best Practices. So in this first episode of the series, we're going to be taking a look at making things const um, or constant in C++ and how using things like const can help us avoid some performance pitfalls. So we'll go ahead and get started by looking at this always const example. So what we're going to first start benchmarking is just the creation of a string, and then we're just going to assign the string uh, some value. So in this case, we're just assigning it, you know, some simple string for uh, initialization. So, you know, while this doesn't seem too bad, and while we've talked about, you know, in other series in the past, or you may be aware, you know, we can, you know, declare, say, a variable, and then we can assign it later. But what's actually going on in this situation? So when we make string s, we're calling the constructor for a string object. And then later on, we're assigning s. So not only are we calling the constructor, but then we're also calling the assignment operator. So we're assigning the string some value. However, if we were to just use const, this makes sure that you know at the uh, uh, when we're defining a variable, we also have to initialize it. Uh, because by saying const, we're saying that it can't be modified. So when we say const string s, this uh, initialization to a value is happening when we're constructing the string object, right? So um, in this case, right, we might actually see a performance benefit. And indeed, if we go ahead and compile this benchmark, if we do g++ always const uh, .cpp, and we go ahead and link this against libbenchmark and libpthread, which are just required for the Google benchmark or for Google benchmark, and we compile this and run it, we can see that um, our base bench, which is the one where we're you know first doing the construction of a string and then the assignment, versus uh, the second benchmark, which is you know where we're doing uh, the construction of the string object and the assignment in the same step, we see that it actually has a pretty big performance impact, right? So we can kind of narrow in even more if we want by doing dash dash uh, benchmark filter equals uh, base bench first, and then dash dash benchmark uh, underscore min time to set how long we want this benchmark to run, so maybe three seconds. So we can first get the base bench timing right for a longer run, say three seconds. And then we can do the same thing for um, better bench. So we'll replace this with better bench. And we see that it's a difference of 34.4 nanoseconds, right? And this is uh, this is a value taken over you know tons of iterations or samples of you know this process versus you know 29.9 nanoseconds, right? So this is a pretty significant jump uh, between these two. And it's consistent, right? So across all of these runs, right, we end up getting a value of about 34.4 versus 29.9. And the only difference between the two is that we made sure that it was const, that const just kind of forced us to do that initialization um, at the same time. But, you know, an obvious question would be, you know, what if I have something that's a bit more complex as far as initializing a variable? So let's go to this always const complex.cpp. So let's say instead of just, you know, assigning a string, say a particular string, um, what if we have something that looks like this? So we have some random number, let's say, and then inside of, say, our initialization, we've got, say, a switch statement. So depending on the value of i, which in this case is just going to be a random number, depending on the value of i, we're either going to assign it, you know, the string from case 0, the string from case 1, the string from case 2, the string from case 3. Right. So this can seem like something that, well, we can't make this const, right? Because, you know, how do we make, you know, it seems like we're making a decision using a switch statement. So, you know, how do I make this, you know, be basically be on the same line and make this const? Well, we can also make this const as well by making use of something like a lambda. So down here, we've got, you know, the exact same thing. So in this case, we have a const string now. So instead of just having string s and assigning s one of these different strings, now we're using a lambda for assignment. So we're going to go ahead and capture that random number value, and then we'll switch on that random number value, and then we'll return one of these strings based upon how it's evaluated. And that allows us to have, you know, this const string. And we can benchmark this as well and see that there's a performance difference between the two. So now we'll go ahead and benchmark always uh, const complex, um, and then we'll compile and we'll run it. And we can see that uh, just like the other one, there's still a performance a significant performance difference between the two. So in this case, it's about seven nanoseconds. And again, we can do the same uh, benchmark min time uh, equals three, and then benchmark filter equals first base bench. So we can see, you know, after a period of three seconds, what the benchmark looks like 
for uh, base bench, so about 38 nanoseconds again. And then for better bench, we can go ahead and check the timing for that as well. And it's at 37.9 nanoseconds. We see that we get, you know, pretty consistently 31.5 nanoseconds, right? And all we really did here was make sure that our initialization of our string was happening when we're defining the string, right? Basically making sure we're not doing any extra work. So that's going to go ahead and do it for uh, this example. All this code can be found at github.com slash coffee before arch. So if you go to repositories, you can find this new one called C++ best practices. And you can find these benchmarks that I used using Google benchmark here. Um, so this example came from a great C++ uh, CppCon 2016 cock from Jason Turner. So uh, basically some of the code that he had on slides, I took it down, threw it in a benchmark just to see, get some actual numbers and see how it performed. So make sure to check out this talk as well. I'll link it below. That's going to do it for this time. As always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.